I'd like to introduce you to Gravity Press, which is our latest plugin from Restrato Apps. And we made this plugin for the simple purpose of allowing site owners and developers to be able to integrate Gravity Forms to Member Press, the popular membership plugin. Now let's talk setup. I have created this basic sign up form in Gravity Forms on my test website here and because I want to use this for brand new users who have not registered for a WordPress account on my, on my membership site yet I'm going to be um, at least getting their the name so I have the name field in here of the email field these are the two at least required fields for a new user sign up with Gravity Forms and then I also have a payment um, a Stripe payment field here that I'm going to be collecting payments on. But at this time I don't have any um, membership options yet, so that right now we're going, to, we're going to add that. So what you can do with Gravity Press is a co couple different ways you can do this. Number one, you can use a drop down menu or you can use a radio button. These are two of the most recommended options that I would, that I would suggest is either these two. There is another option that you can do which is a checkbox button, a uh, checkbox field as well. And that's more of an advanced feature. The nice thing about Gravity Press is that it allows you to um, to to offer the person signing up for a membership level. It allows you to to simultaneously uh, have users select more than one level when they're signing up. So let's say you have a gold level and a silver level, and let's say you want to offer your customer the ability to sign up for both the gold and the silver at the same time on the same form well gravity press can do that and that's with the use of the checkbox feature um, and we'll get into that in a more advanced video down the road so if you if you do want help with that just uh, we don't have that video yet just reach out to us but otherwise it's it's possible for now we're just going to show the basics of because most people uh, are going to offer their customers an either or. They're going to either say, "Do you want the the bronze, the silver, or the gold?" Not all three at once usually. So instead of using the standard radio button or drop down, we'll use the pricing field, which comes up when you either have the PayPal or the Stripe add on enabled in Gravity Forms. And I'm just going to again drop the pay, the product one in here, and then I'm going to change this to a radio button. And now it's ready, and I'm going to, again, say choose membership. And then I'm going to click on the show values checkbox, and that'll allow me to see both the price as well as the value. Next, I'm going to click on this bulk add predefined choices button, and this is going to let me have access to the member press levels that I've previously set up, as well as the specific ID of each level. So I'm just going to go to the very bottom, and at the bottom there's a member press button I can choose. It's going to show me all my levels there. And then I'm just going to select all or drag with my cursor over all of those. And then go down and hit the insert choices button at the bottom to, to basically import them into that field. And then I can name my price for each one. 10, 20, and again these are for a year each. They expire after one year. Going to make them required, and then I like to sometimes throw the total in there just so that our um, customer can see how much they're going to be spending. Now I could have also done this if I had chosen a drop down. That was another option. A drop down. You'll notice that checkbox is not available, and so that's where um, you know you can offer a checkbox. It's a little more tricky to set up, but anyway, that's that. So. We'll so now we've set up our form correctly. Everything's great here. And um, let us just take a look at that and see how it looks. OK, good. So these change. The problem is we're still not going to work until we actually set up Gravity Press uh, a little further. And so what we're going to want to do is set up the connections, the feeds, basically. So if I go to this form that I just used, and then I go all the way down to where it says Gravity Press, 
this is where I can create a feed. And just for sake of showing you how this looks, I'm going to delete the one that's there and we'll just start from scratch. So I'm going to create a new feed. I'm going to leave it the default, doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to um, leave the first one available. There's up to 10 fields. Again, this is if you wanted to um, give your customer or members the ability to check out for multiple fields at the same time is when you would use more than one of these fields. For most people, they're going to, even if they have three or four levels to choose from, you're still, again, you may have three levels, most likely you're only going to need one of these. So just use the first one. I don't recommend adding more of these. Some people add different things and they're not sure what to do with these. Again, for most people's needs, it's just going to be one. Just keep, remember, press field one. And then you're just going to select the, the product field that you uh, created. Again, choose membership. Now remember, choose membership has, oh, where is it? There we go. Choose membership, the field has three different options, right? But the, there's just one field here. So I don't actually need to add three of these. It's, it's already taken care of. This is the field that contains all three. And I'm just going to select the first one that I need. So for most people, just this will be fine. And back on the previous screen, you can see whether this is activated or not. You can activate this or, or deactivate it, depending on whether you want this to actually add people to member to member press or not. Yeah. So why don't we give it a try? And a couple of things I want to do real quick on the form are I'm going to set it up so that if someone's logged in, it's going to grab their default information so that they don't have to they don't try to change it or add a different one. Um, we just want to make sure that things are very consistent. So if you're familiar with Gravity Forms, you know that with the default values, you can set up um, these and add them. I'll just change this to last name. Default uh, fields that it will grab from the system if that person's logged in. So let's go to our form and we'll refresh that. And we see that it automatically fills in these fields for all logged in users, which is great. This is, means that we um, don't have to worry about the user registration plugin uh, add-on at this point, basically just by having the uh, member select whatever level they want. Again, they can choose from all three. And again, um, what they need to do simply, like let's just look real quick, because I just want to show you if we go to member press and transactions. Okay, so we see we have no transactions right now. And then as I go through here, I'm going to just do a, a quick checkout. I have the Stripe plugin enabled. I'll just do a test credit card number. And so I have everything ready to go. I want to be added to the gold level. I'm a current logged in user. So let's see what happens. And for some reason, unauthorized. OK, so let's try this one more time. OK, so let's test this. I have uh, my name filled out. It means I'm logged in. Everything's good there. I'm going to choose the gold membership. And I'm just going to put in a fake credit card here because I have Stripe testing enabled. Five, six, seven, eight. Choose any random month and year. And let's submit that. I'm going to be given whatever default or whatever confirmation message I've set up for that form, which is the default for now. And now if I go to Transactions in MemberPress and refresh this page, I should see a new transaction. This means that this person, which is the logged in user of my account, was added to the membership level of my choosing. And given this transaction ID, now you might notice that it's different from other MemberPress transaction IDs. If you were to um, 
use their built-in system to do as checkout. It would be a different uh, prefix at the beginning. Or if you did it manually, it might be like an M, uh, start with an M if it's a manual transaction. But if you see GF, that means it came from Gravity Forms transactions. How was that? Now, if you see, um, now in terms of the transaction ID, you can see that uh, it might look different than the number might look different than your other transaction IDs. If you've used MemberPress, the built-in checkout system, it it'll have a different prefix. If you use like manual, it'll also have like a different prefix with maybe an M. Um, but if you see GF, that means gravity form. So that means it came through Gravity Press and was the order was taken through that way. That way you can e more easily distinguish and uh, identify how the person paid, basically. Now let's go and quickly demonstrate what it's like if you're a new user and you've never registered before. We'd want to go into the form and enable the user registration plug-in plug or add-on. And you can learn about how to do that through Gravity Forms. They give you lots of support on, on that because it's their add-on. And then I'm going to keep on Stripe, although I could use PayPal for this as well, but I'll just keep Stripe for simplicity's sake. And I have my Gravity Press ready to go. So the only difference is that I've enabled that. And what I would say is that if you plan on using the same form for current and existing members as you do for brand new members. You'll want to be careful and make sure that the user registration feed does not um, get enabled uh, for logged in users because what will happen is it will um, try to create a brand new uh, user for them when they're already logged in and it will hit an error and you'll basically get a rejection they won't be able to submit their form. So if I'm doing that and I want to be able to have this form uh, basically um, serve both existing members who are logged in as well as non-logged in members who are brand new, what I usually do is enable a registration condition and just say um, make sure that email is not empty. And if it's not, or no, I'm sorry, if it is empty. Um, so if I say email is empty, that what that means is that um, this field, as long as it's blank, the registration form will kick in and be enabled. That way um, we know that the person's logged out because that field is blank. And that's only when I really set up this, um, just to be clear, that's only when I've set up the default values to show up. It doesn't work if I haven't done that. So I, I told you how to do that earlier. You have to put in a pre, you know, basically put in the default value in the form. And if that's the case, um, you'll find that this will not show up. This obviously will not show up when the person's logged out. So we're going to go to the same form, but logged out now. I'm going a brand new incognito window, and you can see there's nothing filled out here. And because of that, the gravity forms a user registration add-on will be kicked in this time it'll be triggered so I'll do Kevin Marshall and then I'll just do a, um, a nonsense email this time I'll choose silver again one two three four five six seven eight and now I'm ready to sign up as a brand new user to the site and we'll see what happens And so far, so good. If we go back to our transactions here, you should be able to see a new transaction that showed up. Cool, and so we see a new transaction here on refresh. Um, again, a unique ID shows the different membership silver this time, and it shows the new user that was created. If I click into this, I'll see that new user and their profile, get more information on who that person is. And also, um, so there's that. Also, it expires upon the date that MemberPress uh, is set to for that particular level that I created, so it's a year out from here. Cool, so that's an overview of the basics of 
Gravity Press and how you can use it to integrate and allow people to sign up for your membership website using Gravity Forms and easily add them to your membership uh, levels of any choice.